The Hippie Movement, 1960s Counterculture. The Good, the Bad, the Outcome. Hippie, Tree Hugger, Flower Child, and Free Spirit. These were some of the names that were used to refer to the hippies in the 1960s. You could easily identify a hippie from miles away. They often wore loose clothing with bright colors and natural fabrics. They grew out their hair and wore handmade jewelry. They sometimes walked barefoot or wore sandals. But in all these, nothing said hippie more than all the flowers. They wore clothes with embroidered flower patterns, wore flowers in their hair, printed them on their cars, and distributed them to the public. There were lots of flowers. These flowers represented the non-violent resistance against many of the political and societal norms of the 60s, which was the movement's main goal. And although this movement was mocked and negatively portrayed in the media, it has had some positive impact on today's world. Today we will explore the vibrant hippie movement, the lifestyle of the hippies, the dark side of the movement, and the impact it had on society. Counterculture and the Hippie Movement In the 1960s, there was a new generation of young people who boldly disagreed with the social and political norms of that time. They were known as the Counterculture Movement. This movement advocated for civil rights, opposed the then materialistic lifestyle, and protested against the involvement of the US in the Vietnam War. If there was ever a time, that the young generation changed the world, it was definitely in the 60s. Hippies formed one of the groups that were part of the counterculture movement. The hippie movement originated on college campuses in the United States and quickly spread out to other countries. Their members who were in their teenage or early 20s mostly belonged to the middle class. However, most of them had dropped out of society, leaving their jobs and careers to be a part of the movement. Their Lifestyle Hippies opted for a communal way of life. They would share houses and food. Their diet would comprise of vegetarian and unprocessed foods. They ate legumes and whole grains, organic fresh foods, soy food like tofu, and flavors from Eastern Europe and Asia. Food such as avocado toast was inspired by avocado and sprouts on soy bread, which was a staple food for hippies. Yum! Hippies not only lived differently or ate differently, but they also dressed differently. They had a unique style and anything handmade would be highly prized. Gradually, they started dyeing their clothes and the tie and dye style became popular. Peasant dresses were trendy among the ladies. They would accessorize with flowy ribbons on their hair to enhance the look. The ladies also wore peasant blouses with jeans, granny skirts and dresses, sandals and jewelry made from beads. The men grew their hair and beards long. They also wore beads and sandals, and preferred tie-and-dye or cotton shirts. Most of the outfits were either handmade or bought from the flea market. Music Festivals Music was a uniting factor among hippies. It was more than just entertainment. They used it to express themselves emotionally, spiritually, and politically. Hippies frequently held music festivals and gatherings. One of the biggest music festivals in history was the Woodstock Festival, which was a three-day event held between August 15th and 18th, 1969. The festival had an attendance of more than 500,000 people. Can you imagine attending a three-day concert with more than 500,000 people? It showed the extent of the influence of the hippie movement. Organizers had only planned for 50,000 people, but before long, it became apparent that they would have way more people than that. Young people traveled from different towns heading to a dairy farm in Bethel, New York, which was the venue of the festival. Residents of Bethel had initially tried to oppose the festival, but after a discussion with the town attorney and town supervisor, the organizers finally received the permit for the festival. Due to the delays in the approval of the venue, they did not have enough time to prepare. Before the fence and ticketing booths had been finished, people had started arriving at the venue, most of them walking in with or without tickets. Despite the rain, the inability to control such a big crowd, and the growing anxiety of the town's residents, the festival was successful, with a total of 32 acts throughout the three days. Artists and bands such as Crosby, Sweetwater, Jimi Hendrix, Blood, Sweat and Tears, Richie Havens, and many others performed at the festival. 
Do you have any favorite artists from the 60s? Let us know who they are in the comment section below. And if you are loving the video so far, take a moment to subscribe and hit the post notification button for updates when we post new and epic history videos. Now that we have talked about the hippie movement, its lifestyle and pop music culture, let's now take a look at the dark side of this movement. The Dark Side of the Hippie Movement The hippie movement was opposed by many for a reason. They advocated for free love, which was a term that referred to the sexual practices of the hippie movement. With it came a sudden rise in teenage pregnancies, cases of STDs, and incidences of rape. The free love train fed the hippie men with a perverted mindset. Though money was looked down upon, women became the new currency. Drugs were another major problem in the hippie movement. Drugs such as marijuana and LSD or acid were used to, as they said, to achieve a higher sense of consciousness. Hate Ashbury in San Francisco is a perfect example of how drugs negatively affected the movement. In the summer of 1967, also known as the Summer of Love, more than 100,000 people gathered and relocated to Hate Ashbury, San Francisco, in pursuit of freedom, expression, and the promised communal life. The heavy use of drugs in Hate Ashbury resulted in cases of overdoses and crime. The once safe haven for artists and free thinkers became a poverty stricken and unsanitary area with insecurity and crime on the rise. Many of the kids who came in search of free love and freedom returned home while sick and penniless. As David Crosby, a key figure in the hippie movement recently told the Times Magazine, I think we were right about everything except the drugs. We were right about civil rights. We were right about human rights. We were right about peace being better than war. Most of the causes we espoused then were correct. What do you think? Was Crosby right? Did the other aspects of the hippie movement actually have positive results in today's world? The Positive Outcomes of the Hippie Movement Well, despite the dark side of the hippie movement, there have been some significant social changes that are as a result of the movement. The defiance against mainstream culture helped push other movements forward, such as the civil rights and women's rights movements. Though hippies were mocked as tree huggers, they also influenced the pro-environment movement, including the establishment of Earth Day in 1970. What other interesting things do you know about the hippie movement? Let us know in the comment section. Click on this video for more fun, fact-based and historical content.